Oh! Oh, I think my mic's actually working now. Why did it change like that? Changed my audio source. That's good. Okay, that was really weird. It changed my audio source for some reason. So it just was like, nah, you don't have a mic. That doesn't make sense. No, I have a mic. <laughs> it's weird, too, because I recorded yesterday, and it was working perfectly fine. So why it decided to not work now, I have no idea. But it's fixed, so whatever. Anyways, hi everyone. Glad to have fixed the mic issue. How's everyone doing this evening? Oh, bad lag. Whoa, lag, holy shit. I used to try not to play on the night of an event start. Like, I would always wait to the day after. Which is why I started the last event so late. Specifically because of this issue. I'm doing good. Excited to start the new event. Okay, purifying flame, link to... <laughs> ah, purifying flame. That's the closest to flame surge I'm going to have right now. First thing, chrome check. Yep, yep, yep. Shops reset every single level, so... It's best to check as soon as you get in. Oh. That's weird. It copied nothing. All my affinities are fucked, too. Oh, this is weird. Ah, oh, whatever. Oh, actually, I should be turning these into scraps, because I'll need the scraps. Anyone who's in chat that would like to join, feel free. I can invite you to join the game. Oh boy, delirium already. So this is the Shifting Stones event, as most of you already know. Uh, Shifting Stones is named after that because it picks a keystone passive from the Atlas passive tree for every one of the uh, every one of the uh, league mechanics that it that it adds to the game. So this is Delirium with the Unending Tide. I believe it's the Unending Tide passive, uh, which removes the timer. You can't uh, get Simulacrum Splinters anymore, but you uh, are... I mean, you don't have to worry about the timer anymore, which is the best part of it. Waypoint. I did not mean to respond in town. Oops. So with this particular passive, uh, you only get benefits when you reach new reward tier. So I, if you look in the bottom left, you can see that I'm reward tier 2 on jewelry. If I reach reward tier 3, I would get a benefit. 
I, however, I'm not going to pay too much attention to that, because that would take a while with this little damage. Grabs! Oh, I should uh, really need to go and switch my item filter to starter. Oh no. Okay, it just reloaded the same filter again. Not useful. Please. Okay, starter filter. But now I'll actually be able to see everything that drops. Ooh, mana potion, nice. Hat! I need a hat. I'll take a belt, too. Yes, crabs, potentially plural. Uh, slaying enemies together can attract monsters in the beyond. Okay, so this is the beyond one. I believe the benefit of the beyond keystone is just that you... Ooh, early regret, nice. Is that you won't have uh, any beyond bosses spawning. It'll just be the normal beyond creatures. Which is fair, because I would prefer not to deal with the bosses right now. I don't really want to deal with the normal Beyond creatures either, because I'm not that strong, but... Did I take, like, the dramatically wrong way or something? What is going on? This is a really weird seed for this particular play particular area. I need to get really close so I can consecrate a ground underneath me. Oh, well, okay, I also don't want to get frozen, so there's that too. Ow. Usually I skip Hail Rake, but I found out recently that he gives a... Quicksilver Flask, which I could really use right now to be able to actually move quickly through the campaign rather than just slowly making my way around. There we go. Did I get the Quicksilver? Oh no, it's from the uh, it's from the reward, not from him. Nope, shifting stones. There's my quicksilver. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ooh, I can use arcane surge. That sounds great. Okay, I leveled up. Chrome check. Okay, nothing. Oh, hmm. Love to wear that. I guess the most of this is just crap. Okay, and I can level my mana flask. Cool. Okay, I don't have a two link yet to get Arcane Surge with yet, so I'm going to wait. Wait. Oh, trans okay. I got confused for a second. I was like, wait, do I have... Transmutation orbs already? No, I don't. I just have transmutation shards. Oh, this still has the delirium stuff. 
I completely forgot about that. I was like, why is there... What is going on here? <laughs> can I get, like, a ton of... Oh, actually, can I... I can get a fair bit of progress on the Delirium just by killing a few small things. I guess they're pretty forgiving early on. A the freaking cluster dropped. Okay, I'm glad that I walked back here actually, because I did not see that with my loot filter the way it was set. Come on, give me third tier, next tier, next tier. Yeah. Cool. And now to run away. Okay, level three. Yeah. I can't just ignore things. Fine, I'll kill shit. Org. Oh no. Oh, that's a boss. <laughs> I'm just following the Forg, and I'm being chased by a unique boss. A unique named boss. No! Leave me alone. Ooh, gloves. That is a two link. I can use a two link, two blue link right now. Oh, Cassia. Okay, so she's actually the one I'm like the most excited for because the particular uh, keystone that she has, th this is Blight, by the way, uh, makes this far more into a tower defense than into a you use your abilities. So the towers do, I don't remember how much more, but they do a lot more damage. And you do a lot less damage, is how it works. So you would focus on leveling up your towers more than actually fighting yourself, which is great for this early in the campaign when I am weak as shit. No. Stop getting so far. Yeah, let's have some fire towers doing things. Theoretically, I should get a bunch of XP from all this stuff being killed by the towers, so that should actually go quite well. There's the power there. Another fire tower. Yeah, I mean, the frog is more important than anything else, so it makes sense that I would completely ignore the boss for him. Ooh, here. Cool, clear oil. Nice. And I put amulet. Okay. Equip that. My purifying flames on there. Oh. Need to just, like, kill one more thing. Okay, I'll pick you. You're easier to kill. Now I can swap on a better scepter. Okay, that's a little bit nicer. I can protect myself a bit. Having a spirit shield... Okay, now I can pick up the actual rare shit that I want. Cool. 
And grab that now. Okay, so I should have all the glyphs now. I just need to go and open this. Wait, I only have two. Oh, I must have walked past one. I was running away from stuff. As soon as I get to five passive points ready, I'm going to allocate them. Which is why I'm not allocating them right now, as I'm waiting. Oh my gosh. So much stuff. This thing's kind of like sentient racks of ribs that are chasing you. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. They're, uh... I mean, they're roas, which are kind of like birds. They're like bird dinosaur things. With like a exoskeleton that... Ah! I'm stuck in a corner! The exoskeleton kind of like peeks out. Okay, back to town. Flame Wall, Vigilant Strike, Central Protector, Holy Flame Totem. Oh, I should probably grab Holy Flame Totem, because I actually do intend to go Totem, so that would work. Grab Steel Skin, because that's useful. Sell all my shit off. I don't think I don't think there's gonna be any value to having clusters right now, honestly. Hey, crumb check. So I don't play the fastest of like everyone who possibly could play this game, but I like to take my time and make sure that I'm earning money on the way. Which is why I end up with most of my build items by the time that I finish the campaign. Okay, chain boots. So I'm going to have to take my Quicksilver Flask and put it on the boots. Because I always forget to use the Quicksilver, so I might as well have a movement speed set of boots. And that's a three link. Uh, where's my Cassia? Oh, so this is my oils tab. It looks like I'll be able to anoint things immediately. Interesting. Because usually there's like a notice here that says, oh, you need to complete uh, strange growths, the strange growth quest so that you can go ahead with anointing things, but it's not there right now, so I assume because I've already done one interaction with her that that's it. So I might actually be able to, like, do a really cheap early anoint that could actually help me a lot. Come to think of it. Which that, that actually sounds kind of cool. Especially because, like, things like clear oils aren't very valuable. So I could just waste a bunch of clear oils. Okay, fire, 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 everything fire. Okay, put on a totem over there. Okay, I'm gonna add another, I'm gonna cold totem there, just to, ah! No. 
I'm weak. Well, I really expected the like the buffed up towers to do more. It's actually like quite sad how how it underpowered they seem to be. I thought it was like, oh, you build a bunch of towers, you'll be fine. No, it doesn't seem to be like that. Kind of hoping it would compensate for how weak you are in the like at the early campaign, but it doesn't seem to be. It's not well. Wait, no, I don't need white gear. Grab that stuff. Get another clear oil. Once I get my third oil, I'll be able to enchant something. Or anoint something. That'll take a moment. But it'll be worth it. Okay. I'm gonna allocate a bunch of shit now. Okay, I'll be able to deal some damage now. Yay. Also, I leveled up, so I'm going back for another chrome check. Again, not playing fast. Just playing well. <laughs> no chromatic items. Okay, I can swap that out, swap that out, move the purifying flame over to shield, sell these off, take the transmute, sell it off for more chromes, or more scrolls, not chromes. Oh, I forgot to add the affinity. It's really annoying they're not having transferred the affinities. They've done, they've like minorly fucked up like one thing each league. Like I don't think we were supposed to get the Kirax Vault the first league, and our affinities are fucked up this league, and I didn't actually play enough to uh, see much of the last league, well, or like the last event league. So I'm not sure. Not sure if anything went badly there, but I know that you weren't able to get your Kirex Vault as well, so that was definitely a mistake on their part the first time. Yes, yeah. If I get, like, some really, just really, really cheap oils, that would be very nice. Just for anointing stuff. Okay, add some fire in there so it's not just cold. Add more cold. I call up there in just case anything gets past me. Ooh. Ramulet, nice. Another clear oil, okay. Well, I don't know what three clear oils get you, but I can anoint something now. <laughs> okay. That's a decent amulet. Cool. Well, I'm gonna go and deal with Granddaddy Crab. Then I can worry about other things. Does this go up or across? This goes across, okay. The first time it goes up is 
past where the Grand Eddy Crab is going to be. The uh, dweller, dweller of the Deep. So I need to make sure I don't cross any bridges going up until I've got that. Probably over here. Oh, I miss having a movement scale. Is this up? That's up. Maybe it's in this corner? Oh god, it's a princess here. Not interested. There's the flooded depths. Ah, Torn Spirits. Oh! I actually got possessed this time! I've tried this in, in like, the main area, where, like, you can get possessed by Tormented Spirits, but... In what I've tried, it just has not worked. So, I'm not really sure how all that's supposed to work, but... It's really cool when it actually does work. Most of all, I just don't understand how it works. Now you need to stand on them. On top of them so that they can't get away? I would have thought they'd try to possess you like they've tried to possess other things, but... Mm. Oh, I don't have I don't have movement skills, so I can't jump. Darn it. Ooh. Ooh. Eh. Do I, like, steal it somehow? Okay. I don't know what happened, but it worked. Ooh, ooh, can I, like, how does this work? Oh, do I just have to stand near it and wait for him to possess me? Yeah, that's how it works. I don't know. This is fun. It's like Headhunter. Ghost Hunter. Yeah. I don't know what these ghosts are doing, but they're doing something. It does not tell you what they do. You've been possessed by a tormented spirit. Okay. Thank you for such a descriptive explanation. I guess the uh, tool tips for uh, headhunters all are also pretty useless for actually telling you what's going on. Just wish that they weren't. There we go. Go back to Lion Eyes Watch. Get myself my skill point. Get tons of max life. Drum check. Always crumb check. Crumb check. Success. Uh, yeah, I don't need a mana ring. Actually, I could make a larger mana flask now. Oh, I do. I have one already. Well, I still I make two. Okay, so I don't need that. Put you away. So what does three clear oils give me? Dex. Okay, I'll take dexterity. Sure. 
I love free dexterity. Okay, so I want to be going over here now. That little way up there is to the way forward. So I got in the medium mana floss, so I can combine them for a better one now. No. No. Fine, I'll take some stuff out. Oh, bit of weird lag. I'm uh, looking for the next way up. Oh, there's ledge already. This is such a weird song. Because it sounds like creaking doors in it. Ooh, a currency delirium, you say? I like that. Cool, I'll focus on getting that then. Give me some good currency. Actually... Thinking about it now, crumbs might actually be not as valuable this league or this event league because of the fact that they're that there's all these cool ways of earning currency right now. There's a chance orb. Chance orbs are good. Yay, bigger man flask. I like taking out large groups. Group them all up and knock them down. Like bowling pins. Also might end up killing me, but we'll see. Hey, stop eating my corpses. La bad gull thing. Not a fan of the landmines everywhere, but... Ooh. Lots of cool stuff already. All right, next skill point I can allocate for something fun. Not till then, though. I might be able to hit reward tier 4 by the end of this area. We'll see. Oh, I don't really want to do things near the totem that they have. That would be bad. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Dangerous explosions. No. Day. Looks over, run. I get a group together. Give me level four. Reward level four. You can do it. Come on. I want to get that before I leave this area. There we go. My first elk. Yeah, I'm not going to go for reward level five.
We'll leave some totems behind, though. Okay, this is getting a bit dicey. It's not usually this much stuff in this area. <laughs> eh. No. Large life flask. No. Leave me alone. No. 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 Dislike. Unsubscribe from Delirium Mobs. Unsubscribe to me. Waypoint. Okay. I said that like I didn't know that the waypoint was going to be there. <laughs> like it isn't there every time. Right, still can't dash. Still not a thing I can do. Well, I can Cassia. Okay. So we have... Oh, we finally have minion towers. Okay, that's good. Uh, I guess I got a minion. And make another minion tower. Put a freezing tower there with the minion tower. Solaris Temple level one. Okay, so there's already people in act three. <laughs> Well, that's stupid. It's just, it's just ridiculous that people can move that quickly. I do, like, I know that I'm slow, but that is ungodly fast. Yay. Yes, okay. Got an essence. Okay, so the next armor piece I want, I can put that on. Okay, no. I'm good, leave me alone. Iron Point, that's his name. No! No, go away, Fawn. I'm not fond of you at all. Ooh, another Quicksilver, nice. Oh wait, I can use my quicksilver flask. Right, I don't have to wait for all this shit to just beat the shit out of me. I can run. Okay. More quicksilver. Town, from check, dump inventory. Please, this. Please tell me this gives me my, my thing. I really want to be able to dash. Yeah, I need combustion support. Don't have a three link blue yet, but oh, I can put on my holy flame totem. That's okay. Go with that. Still can't get dash? Going. Should I spend a transmute for this? Maybe. So, okay, there's a pure blue chest plate there. This has a... It's 22, and I can add 5 to 14. Okay, yeah, no, I'm just going to grab this. Just so that I can go Purifying Flame, Arcane Surge, Combustion. 
Okay, I don't think I crumb jacked yet. No. I I want to upgrade this flask. I'm not gonna use infuse channeling. So give me a one alk tab. Six, six, six. Okay, so I can upgrade these to a nine or twelve. The twelve. Oh wait, I could put this on the shield. Perfect. Oh, percent fire damage. Nice. That could not have been better. Okay, give me another combustion support for my holy flame totem. Wait. Spell totem support. Okay. Grab that. I'm gonna grab Flamewood to totem. Yeah, Flamewood support too. Flame surge doesn't come for a while, right? I don't think you get it for quite a while. I'll grab Flame Wall though. Okay, Spell totem support. Actually, I guess I could just do purifying Flame totems for now. And these can't support totems. Yep, they can't support totems. Okay, so this will be where I'll put my travel skills. And then I'll put flame wood on holy flame totem. I don't think I need anything else here, real, really. Now I'll be fine. Okay, to the prison. To the prison? Ooh, ooh, ghost! Ghost, come to me! No, ghost! Ghost, please! I want to be powerful! Yes! Destroy everything! Yes! Yes! Wow, that worked really well. Cool. I really like purifying flame totems. That is what I have decided. Let me grab a few things here. Don't need you. Don't really need you. Uh, grab you. Okay. You run all the shit back to town. Ooh, max rolled implicit on Sapphire Ring. Good. Only that for Mervale. That was worth coming back. They got me an entire transmute. Okay, to the prison! To the prison! Okay, that's. I know that way is a dead end, so I need to go this way now. Alright, all I can do is just throw down my totem and wait now. Forgot that's how you play totem build. <laughs> I want through the door. Thank you. Everything shall burn. Fire and ignite resistant. Okay, I'm gonna not 
bother with that. I don't hate myself. Lots of fire. Fire everywhere. Everything shall burn. Everything shall burn. Except me, ideally. I don't really want to burn. Oh no, the other ghost got away. Uh, let me through. Wait, this is a dead end. Where am I going? Ooh. Give me something. Okay? Okay. I am really would prefer to just not do whatever this is. A bunch of Halloween tracks. I mean, I like Halloween tracks, but not at random. I just I don't need random screaming in my life. I have a dog. I get enough of random screaming. I mean, it's not screaming, but, like, barking. I don't know. I'm trying to be funny. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I'll just face tank the spikes. Wow, I didn't have to. I can face tank the spikes, but there's no good reason to, I guess, in that scenario. No. No! 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 I don't like this place! Eh? What, what was that that just dropped? Yo, give me the jeweler's orb. No! <laughs> Fuck! Eh! Okay, all of you go away. <gasps> Fusing! Cool, and a chrome item. Yeah, so I must be going this way, because I think I've run out of every other way to go. I do like I can just put down a totem and leave. I would prefer if I had multiple totems to put down, though, so I could, like, spread out the totems, but, I mean, you got to work with what you got. Oh, shit, I have to go back for that, whatever that is. Oh, it's on the fusing, nice. No. Go away, chatters. Okay, take Holy Dominion. I'll ignite better now. Not that ignite really matters for me. Oh, a legion. Oh, okay, I get to show off another one of the the keystones now. So this is the... I don't know the name of it, but it's the schism keystone, which basically is you unlock a certain number of the uh, warriors to fight, and once you're done unlocking them, you get to fight them. Versus the normal, which is you have to just unlock whatever you can within the time that you have, and then it goes. This, like, actually allows for you to slowly unlock everything. And I'm eating my mana up.
a bit scared of whatever these rare mobs are. I don't want to unhatch. I'm not going to hatch those. I'm going to hatch the weaker things. Yeah, break out that chest, will you? My little stick minion. Yeah, this really like slows down and makes the uh the Legion counters chill, the fact that like you can just take as long as you want to break through the schism. Oh, there we go. I just hope that this isn't going to be too much to deal with at my level. They are scary, that's for sure. A bit more max life. more rares. Now to go into the very dangerous room. Okay, I'm just gonna leave a totem over there. They can do their own thing. Don't worry about me, I don't exist. That totem, however, does exist, so focus on that totem. Uh-oh. I know I'm here now. Fine. Just. Okay, good. I didn't break the rares out. That's probably for the best. I don't really want to deal with that. The Legion rares are dangerous normally in maps. Right now, with a weak character, I cannot imagine how ungodly dangerous they must be. Ah, here we are. I'm going to put this over here, because I'm not current... currently do not have totem slots for more flame wall. Or more, uh, whatever the other thing is. Holy flame totem, so. Warden's quarters. Oh, someone's in Act 4. I will never understand how people can go at that speed. I feel like I fucked something up, though, with the quest pro progression, because I swear I should have had my flame dash by now. Maybe I normally would have had the frost blink, and the fact that I for forwent it for the flame, bla or flame dash was a problem. Hmm. Hard to say. Oh, wait, what? That was the right way. Yeah, you can go deal with that. No, I don't I don't exist. I don't know why what you're looking at. No, no, I'm good. Oh, it's really cool that he that he like destroys the door, like pushes the uh, pushes like the entire door frame out. No, I'm not here. Don't worry about me. I'm not here. Not at all. 
No, it's just a totem over there. It's attacking you for no reason. There's just an angry stick. No! Now go look at the angry stick. I don't exist. No, no. Don't worry about me. No. This is surprisingly effective. No. Leave me alone. Yeah, no, there's an angry stick right there. Fight the angry stick. Yeah. Good, Brutus. <laughs> the stick strikes again. Have any crap? No, it's all decent. Warren's Chambers and Prisoner's Gate. Give me blame dash. No. Oh, yeah, there. I was just going to be like, no! Why no yet? Oh, thank God. No, not that. Thank gosh. Needing a movement skill so badly. Nah, not worth it. Drum check. Cool. There seems to be like one particular guild that's leading the charge right now because. Keep saying goat in the name of them. Twelve, okay, so I can upgrade my flasks now. Okay. Yeah, currency is definitely way more plentiful in this event league than it has been just like in normal games. You'll have to forgive me, I'm a bit low energy today. Not been getting a lot of sleep, unfortunately. I am very excited for the lake, though. I just don't see him because I'm tired. <laughs> Everything burns. Okay. Put a freeze here. Fire. Fire. I'll put another freeze down in a second. All right, put another freeze out here. Let's upgrade that one. Yep. 
kill whatever that thing is. I don't, I don't want to deal with that. The clear oil. Oh boy. Oh no, that's I see a boss. Nope, go away. Who is that? Ungulath, okay. Because goats are ungulates. I think. Kinda silly if they weren't based on the name, but <laughs> Ah, Burning Menace. Nope, 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 nope. Angry fire dog. Ooh, heavy belts, good. And you run out of strength, that'll be very useful. Shrine. I don't think shrines are one of the special things for this event. I think this is a normal shrine. Ah, there we are. Ship Graveyard Cave. Exactly what I'm looking for. I'm going the wrong way. Do I want to activate a delirium? Uh, sure. What's the worst that could happen? Besides my untimely death. Coral ring, nice. Astrid sword, and all. Got a ton of flame walls, totems. I think this music is also from Halloween stuff. I need to remember, I have a movement scale and two Quicksilver flasks. I should be using at least one of them at all times. Using. No! No. Bad. Bad, angry goblin things. Nope, 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 nope. All flame. Okay, okay. Cool. <laughs> Spam that one. Slightly better coral ring. 
Oh, that's a... Oh, that's a cold damage one, but it's only level 12, so that's probably not very useful, even though it is an 8 passive. What is with all this creepy music? <laughs> I'm going to skip forward until I stop seeing something that looks Halloween-y. I don't think I crumb checked. Okay. I need three more points before I get anything. Yeah, yeah, however you want to justify it, Fair Graves. The bright side is that the skeletons don't mind walking off the boat through the fire. There we go. Okay, uh, so I think the Caverns of Anger are probably going to be up north. Oh, an elk. Nice. Okay, Quicksilver. Gotta remember. It's very hard for me to remember to use Quicksilvers if they don't have a thing, like a auto-use. Is there anything here that I really want? Well, there's a currency one right there. Miscellaneous one there. I mean, currency is good. It's really the only thing I want from this, though. It's just that one currency area. You know, it's not going to be worth it to break everything else out just to get that. I'm going to keep moving. No, wrong way. Really? Oh, wow, this is a fucking weird layout. Okay, give me something a little bit more interesting. First, mana bond. I guess I could grab like Stormbrand or something. Nah. I'll deal with Searing Bond. Let's try that. That adds an other plus one to totems, anyways. Okay, I think. 
think we can chrome check again. Yes. No. No. Okay. I mean, I could run over there, kill one monster in chrome check, but <laughs> no, I'm just gonna <laughs> gonna keep moving. Well, that was serious. It's level 12, and I'm level 15. Okay, so I don't actually need to spend too much time killing anything here. Okay, Cavern of Anger. Ooh, ooh, possess me, possess me, possess me. This is, continues to be a really weird song. Please possess me. Okay. Saw another one over here. Possess me, will you? I only have three? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Four. Run. Okay, got some more health. Next level, I can get more. Oh, there's too many things to piano at once right now. <laughs> it's fucking up my brain. Okay. Someone beside me. Place flame wall. Put searing bond out. Searing bond. Totem. Flame wall. In my attempt to optimize this, it's making it very hard for me to play. <laughs> nope, I want that. Ah, explodey dudes. No. Oh, wrong way around. Fire! I'm going to set all of these water streams on fire. <laughs> Yay! Ooh, I got some Quartz Scepters. Ooh, that's good. Okay, I'm not using the Holy Flame Total. I'm not using any of these, so I can just swap these on now. Cool.
Everything burns. I think the servers are, like, suffering trying to understand what's going on. With, like, everyone running, like, deliriums and all of that shit all at once. It's probably very hard for the server to handle it all. They've never had, like, amazing servers either. So that doesn't really help. <laughs> I don't even have to focus too much on leveling. I can just blow up the gr the large groups I need to when I find good places to earn money like this. Oh my gosh, I might actually no. I might actually get to reward tier five. Oh. Which is fine. I can just walk back. Not that far. Oh, that's an essence of woe. Oh. Woe. No, I, I need that because I get spell damage. Get rid of some of this crap first, though. And there's someone in Act 5. Just gonna sit here and shake my head. <laughs> it's crazy what people can do when they set their mind to it. And also have a large group of people around them. That helps too. Maybe one day we'll be a giant community that can flex on the leaderboards by going to every place first. There we go. Um. Okay, well, that's going away, I guess, then. Thank you. Ooh, and I want my health notable. Oh no. There's too much stuff here. No, I want I want the chromatic item. Let me have chrome, please. Let have chrome plex. Oh, I don't even have the, the room to hold it. Yes, I do. It just was poorly organized. Okay. Teleport away. Run. Whew. Yeah, things get really tanky at reward tier 5. Because every reward tier give, like, makes everything tankier, so... Don't need any of that. From check. Chromatic item. Two chromatic items, nice. Art to 19 chromes, okay. <laughs> That's a bit silly. Okay, so I think currency is going to be severely devalued in this particular event league. Okay, we are in Shifting Stones. Starting on my Awakened Pui trade. How much are Chromes worth? 
No one has any listed. Okay, well I'll do one C for three of them. One C for each of these. Okay, you know I'll just leave it like that. Let's put some ridiculous prices on them, and if someone buys them, great. If they don't, great. Don't care. Cool, I will take yet another crim <laughs> yet another quicksilver flask. Actually, wait a minute. No, there's another nothing I can do. I know I have some augmentations. I have one augmentation. Okay, that's fine. I can put this on my boots and get 15% movement speed. Uh, you know, I can sacrifice another chromatic flask for the sake of having 20%. No, I don't have another aug. But I can get one. Ina, give me another augmentation. You you don't sell any augmentations? Oh. Okay, that's weird and unexpected. Oh, well, whatever. Lots of time. Put those away. Actually, I guess I can leave these in here. My one elk buyout tab. Okay. So. Some stuff done. Places are other people in. River waves. Cool. Let me just snag that portal. Snag the wetlands portal too. Run back to town. Or, okay, hideout, sure. I guess that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Grab Chamber of Sins level one. See, others are working together to find things. Definitely a good way to do this. Okay, so that's most of the waypoints so far. The act. They found the trial yet. Not that I'm seeing. Portal up. There you go, friend. Gotta help each other. Otherwise, no one will. So it's important to work together.
Yay, trial. Oh, where's that? I missed one. Whatever. Wow, that person has a very obtrusive wings set up. <laughs> Ah, so that's where everyone is. All the way over there. Okay. I think that person has a portal up. Actually, no. They probably don't, realistically. Let's just talk to Helena. Don't we need to grab something? I think we need to grab something from over there. Helena. There's the gem. Okay, so I could get a Herald of Ash. Sure. I'm not using it in my reservation for anything yet. Talk to Silk again. Okay, I gotta go find the Weaver's Chamber. That will be over in the Southern Forest. Ah, I see someone has already been here. Let's make sure that we open a new instance. Ow. Eh. Level 17, and this is a level 17 area. Okay, so... I should be good. At a waypoint. Time to burn a bunch of men alive. Hello, Cassia. Okay, so the torch is here, which means that. Lyra should be right over here. Ow! There's a lot of explodey men. Okay, so there's Lyra. Summon fire. Summon fire on my enemies. Yeah, sure, whatever. You can blow them up. I don't care. Okay. My totem behind me, searing behind her, and flame wall on her. Yeah. Okay, so one bound one one bounded? One bandit down. So Lyra was that way, which means that the opposite of the torch should be the weaver. More or less. Well, I see the spider webs.
There we are. Weaver's Chamber. Just to make sure that this is a new instance. To make a hundred percent sure. Yeah. I mean, the last instance was new, so this one should be new. But whatever. I'd rather not risk it. I don't want to get to like the boss room and the boss be dead. That'd be very frustrating. Especially since it's very easily preventable. <laughs> Make it all the more frustrating. Ooh, a Grand Life Flask. That's level 18. Cool. I'm still using level 6 mana flasks. I need to fix that. So that requires me actually getting them. So there's that too. That is a very angry spider. I'm not interested. Go away. Have you heard of our Lord and Savior, Arakali? No. First player to fully clear the den. Wait, <laughs> there's achievements for doing that? I didn't realize that was a thing people cared about. That's a really obnoxious rare. Oh god, having delirium with the boss is really bad. I did not consider that. That is really, really awful. Oh, because she has a delirium ability. Why did I do this? Why am I actively torturing myself? Ah! <laughs> ah, Weaver, why do you suck? You suck so much! Eh. Stop freezing me. Oh my gosh, she's freezing and freezing, webbing, and chilling me. That is the worst combination. I mean, freezing just stops you from moving completely, but like chilling and webbing at the same time is really bad. Oh, well, somehow I'm getting through the fight. There's a lot of little minions to kill, so there's that at least. There we go, Malagar Spike. Okay. Theoretically, I can get reward tier 4 right now. There we go. Free reward tier. I'll take that. Okay, so I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 skill points before I get anything. I don't need a ton of int, so I can wait on those... Wait to apply those till I have enough to actually get something. Okay, no chromes. Seal the crap. Identify the rings. Wow, a coral ring with the strength and int on it. That's actually really nice. A topaz ring with all attributes and strength on it. Wow, okay, that's a really hard. You know what? Actually, no, that's not a hard choice. Because I'm just going to equip both of them. 
That works too. Why choose when you can have both? I don't need that. Oh, do I need to talk to someone? Elena? Silk? Ooh. Fancy things. Well, definitely faster casting, because faster casting is amazing. I'm actually tempted to replace combustion with it. I'm going to replace her combustion with faster casting, because I know how good faster casting is. Actually, oh, I've got a great idea. Flame wall, combustion. So, flame wall can ignite things, and add the negative fire res, and then herald of purity, or not herald of purity, um, purifying flame can go kill them. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, let's go to the wetlands. Hopefully I have enough damage. Hopefully. I don't know. I'm a bit worried. Uh, this is definitely not a new instance. There's half-damaged things. See if I can get another level before I have to go fight Oak, because Oak sucks. Really, really nervous about Oak just because of how strong he is usually. Also, I don't know what this is, but I really like this, this music. It's really chill. I don't know about y'all, but I'm someone who really can just benefit from chill in my life. Just really, really benefit from it. <laughs> Everything's always so tense and busy. I'm not the type of person who kind of stops to do things. Or stops to think about things. Like, I just keep... I'm always doing something while thinking about my plans. I'm always doing multiple things at once. Because that's how I get things done, is I multitask heavily. Okay, somehow I'm out damaging him. that back there. Give me some more mana. My Searing Bond back. I put my Searing Bond over there. There we go. Oh, I'm very glad that I was able to kill him. I was honestly pretty worried. But it was proving to work pretty well, so... Okay, so I have Chamber of Sins. He... You know what, it's actually... Rob. No, it'll be faster to run through the Chamber of Sins to get to the. to walk out to get to the crossroads. Unless I go the wrong way. Unless I go the dramatically wrong way. Ooh. Matic item. No, it's this way. 
Okay, it's this way, but not this way. Crossroads, okay. Get through the crossroads, get the waypoint, get to the broken bridge, kill Kraden. Get my two skill points. Actually, if I can level up once and then get the skill points, I will have enough for Ancestral Bond immediately. Which will give me an extra totem, which I need desperately. I did not realize when making the build guide how, how much you need to rush Ancestral Bond. Though that does mean I won't be able to use my flame wall anymore. Unless I make a totem for flame wall. <laughs> oh. No, why did no, why did you possess him? Possess me. Oh my gosh, you useless ghosts. Okay, yeah, Broken Bridge. Flee flame walls. Everything can burn behind me. Mmm, Cassia. I usually don't do much Blight stuff, but... I mean, with this particular Keystone, I kind of want to... Uh, oh, this is kind of a mess. Oh, I don't like this. I really need more minions. Because that's what I'm trying to do, is I'm trying to build up a bunch of minion towers if I can. No! Die. No. Die. If I can get a tier 4 minion tower, I will be in a very good spot. I don't know if there's enough, if there's going to be enough stuff for me to even be able to get that, though, like, building power or whatever. No, no, get away! Mm. Okay, now I have to upgrade stuff, or I will just die. No! 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 Darn it. I don't need another coral ring. Go away. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. The pathway leads this way. Okay, kill Creighton. Right, and can you, like, come over here, maybe? Yeah, come to the corner. Really easy to work with the corner. Also, then, most of your archers don't help you. So they're like, corners? How do? Just 
Okay, I'm gonna lo I'm get the last five percent of the level. Then I'm gonna go back to town, get the other two points, and then I'll have ancestral bond. And we'll see if rushing that is the right call. So I'm using my flame wall a lot right now. So I don't know. I don't know if it'll be worth it, but we'll see. So realistically, I can make a flame wall totem if I have to. Like it, like instead of a purifying flame totem, if I want. I don't think you get flame surge to level thirty ish. Die, burn. Ow. Oh. Ah, fluff. Mirror, mirror. Okay, five school points. Let's see how well this goes. Okay, you can't deal damage with skills yourself. Plus one to maximum summon totems. This will either help me a lot or absolutely fuck me. I don't think I'm actually using the steel skin too much. I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna grab this and put Searing Bond up there. To check what this is too. No, nah, not very good. Twelve. Okay, so I could grab. Oh, I only have. All right, I only have two of each type of flask. I really need to have the third so I can combine them. Okay, do I have an essence of woe? Yes, I do. Twenty-two percent spell damage. That is worse than what I had. But it has an extra socket. Which does mean that I can put stuff into my weapon instead of my boots, which has no actual benefit, but still. <laughs> that there. Okay. Way forward in Western Forest. Oh, I didn't. I never actually did the way forward. I need to go find the little rock. Oh, that works pretty well. Man, there's a lot of things blowing up. No. Go away. Curious if I can burn things with the flame wall, even if I can't damage them with flame wall. Okay, through the prisoner's gate, and then immediately to character select. To teleport back to Lion Eyes Watch, take the benefit, and then teleport back to the forest encampment. Wait, I walked through. I was in Act 1. Oh, 
I don't understand how that works. <laughs> the bright side, I'm here for a chrome check too. Yay. Yep, there's one. I won't try as hard to chrome check this particular event just because it seems like currency is going to devalue a lot. I don't really want to spend forever. Just making currency that eventually goes nowhere. Totem damage. From Jack. Oh, it's a minion one. Okay, so the next place is the wetlands. Those aren't who aren't familiar, the uh, yellow quests are required, the blue quests and the orange quests are optional. Well, this is very easy. Now it's just a right-click and dash build. I don't have to worry about spamming a bunch of things anymore. Oh, this is definitely the wrong way. I'm getting into, like, an increasing pickle here, I gotta say. There's a whole lot of very angry people here. Right side, I can get this, which will give me the ability to chill things. All right, flame wall does nothing. Still in the habit of using flame wall. Well, y'all kill that for me. Thank you. And now I run away. I don't know what that sound was, and I don't like it. Ooh, cat's paw, nice. Always good to have rare stuff. Nope, I'm going the wrong way. And I still have quicksilvers, as I have just remembered after probably like ten minutes of forgetting them. That's definitely one of the contributing factors to why I'm so slow, is because I just never remember to use quicksilvers. It's just a dead end. Yes. Level me up, will you? Nope. How about you? There we go. I'm gonna rush some totem life. Just to make sure that my totems aren't dying. Okay, 
Alright, Northern Forest. Hello, Einar. Okay, back to town. Bridge encampment. Bridge encampment. That is Act 7, I think. There are five acts, they're half the campaign ahead of me. Wow. I don't actually care, it's just... I'm just always in awe of it, because it's just so... It just seems so ridiculous to be able to move at that speed. However they're managing to do it. to the caverns. Is that a stupid idea? I wonder if anyone's actually bothered to full clear the, uh, uh, what's the dumb, dumb useless place that's in here called that does have, that has absolutely no purpose. I'm trying to remember. It's right here, the Dread Thicket. I need to clear the Dread Thicket. Why not? It's possible that no one's done it, which means that I can get an achievement if I do it. Or not achievement, but like I can get the global notification for doing it if no one is actually bothered to do it. <laughs> And I mean, there's no other, there's no reason to be here besides to get this, this notification, to uh, get this quote-unquote achievement, I guess. Just no, no other real function. Technically, there's a Steam achievement, too, but I've already got that, like, a long-ass time ago. I need to make sure I've killed everything, so I have to be very diligent about all the things I kill. Make sure none of them get past me. Make sure I check every corner. Because I, like, the reason why I'm wondering is because I noticed recently, like, like just earlier, someone cleared the den, which is in Act 2. Which I can only assume is because no one wanted to do it. Because it doesn't have anything important in it. And this is even less important than the den. So. I'll try full clearing it. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Maybe it'll not be worth my time. It probably won't be worth my time. But I mean, why the hell not? I don't know if you need to clear the hideout as part of this or not. I feel like I haven't been in the in the the uh, dread thicket without the quest for it in Act Six or Seven since the last since I got the the Steam achievement for it. What's that? Oh. Well, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna clear the hideout too, cause I think that counts as part of the area. It looks like it's part of the area. I also get my primal manifestation for some totem damage.
those both there. Drop that down. Okay, this area is clear. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Because it's, it's required to full clear this area. Not just enter it, like the uh, all the other areas. I noticed that with the den, is like the den specifically is also a full clear area. Which is why I'm wondering about this area specifically. Okay, just walk through every passage, just make sure I'm not missing anything. Check under every stone. <laughs> no, I don't need to check under every stone, but I do need to make sure I leave no still unturned, so to speak. As long as I do it metaphorically, it's fine. Oh, that's detonate nearby corpses. No, thank you. Okay. Got the little edge area here. It would be really funny if I just somehow happen to get the, f like, if I get the full clear on this because no one's bothered. That would be really dumb and funny. I don't really want it to be, I don't really want the explosions on me. So just leave my totems over there to do all the dirty work. So why should I do the hard work when my totems can do it for me? My stick friends. Oh, three monsters left. Okay, there's another section over there. Oh, there they are. Zero monsters left. Okay, so... The uh, clear is either not a thing that matters, or the, like, either there's not an announcement for clearing the Dread Thicket, or it's already been done. Oh, well. I'm going to go do the Cassia just in case that that would have an effect on it. But I doubt it. Thing is, it says zero monsters remain. Oh boy, this is a clusterfuck of a of an area here. Oh, let's build lots of seismic towers. Let everything overlap. All right, and then I'm going to upgrade that first, because this is the biggest and most important point. And I'll do this one second, because that's one of the weak points. This area doesn't have that many towers. Is there another tower over here? Yes, there is. Put a seismic tower there, and a seismic tower over here. And then seismic there. Just spam seismic towers. They're really good. Because they stun in damage. I think this is the last one. There we go. Engineer's Orb, not 
very useful, but I'll take it. Okay, this area is fully cleared. <laughs> fully, fully cleared. There's nothing else to do here. Okay, back to the northern forest. Now I'm just going to run north to the caverns. Or not north. I guess run straight. Run straight in a gay way. I don't know, something like that. After the Desolate Isle. It must be a Vol side area. I don't recognize that name at all. Oh, I'm trying not to yawn to the mic. I know it's contagious. Yay, level 24, okay. Uh, I can get a mastery now. Could have increased crit strike chance. Or totems could take damage for me. Actually, I'm going to grab max life here, and then I'll grab that next, the damage. Makes more sense. Ooh, box and whetstone. Mine. Oh, I still have the flame wall socket, despite the fact I'm not actually using it. I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't need the socket for anything yet. Oh, movement speed. I love movement speed. I'm gonna go do a chrome check and sell off the crap. Ah, fuck. My way—I I just noticed my my mini map is fucked now. Please, whatever you did, GGG, please fix it. That update was bad. It was a very bad update. I don't know which update it was. It was so long ago now that everything's just been fucking up since. I used to know. Okay, I'm going to go on a short intermission and restart the game. Good chance to get up and stretch and get water and stuff. Be back in five minutes.
And we're back. And starting where we left off. Took a few extra minutes to make some tea. Tea is such a comfort thing for me. I don't know about other people. You just have to remember to drink it. <laughs> if I forget about it, I'll be sad. Hi, on Einhar. I almost called him Onhar. <laughs> yes, our favorite beast master. Our favorite best master. Onhar. Urin Hurt. Urin Hurt is my favorite Beastmaster. <laughs> I'm going the complete wrong way. Pretty sure this way is not right. No, no, maybe this is right. There we are. Okay, Quicksilver. I have Quicksilvers. I need to use them. I'll remember to use them eventually. Apex! Yay! Now I can make some tea while I wait for the Omnitech. The slowest boss in the game. With his little hat. His little skull hat. Y'all. Go with a little tiny skull hat. Or big skull friend. Big slow skull friend. I like babying menacing bosses. It's very funny. Because he does actually do a lot of damage. Like, he is actually terrifying. But that's only when he actually, like, does his one or two skills that are terrifying. Because he has a slam skill that's crazy. That one, for example. That one can just one-shot you very easily. Yeah, three beams. And which arm is he's using the Okay, he's using the ceiling right now. I don't want him to use the Oh, the laser is also dangerous. And mallet? Is that mallet? Yep. Mallet. Get him! Get him! Get him! Yeah! I'm too afraid to try. Actually, no, no, I'm not. I think if you go to character select, you can skip the animation and it just pop out in... Or... Pop out in the uh, Force Encampment, but you have the waypoint now for Act 3. Yep, there it is. Did 
Do another Cassia. Well, I guess Seismic Sours just scale really well, because... Because they seem to scale really well. <laughs> I don't know how, where how I don't know where else I was going with that sentence, but okay, I'm just gonna stand here to hopefully body block, so that it doesn't try to come any further. I hope the bottom's okay. Okay, there's power up that that one right there. Alright, strengthen that one. Oh, I think I'm done. Yeah, it's just this guy. Well, 25. Hmm. Ah, whatever. Sapphire Flask, Poacher's Mark. Is Flame Surge a projectile? I cannot remember. No, it's not. Ooh, I want the Grand Life Blast, though. Eh, I might as well grab the Sapphire if I can. No, I can't. Okay, whatever. Whales. Amber! I'll be able to start making big strength and strength nodes and int nodes now instead of just dex nodes. <laughs> Mana flask. Oh, can I finally replace my, my level six mana flasks now? Wait, I didn't even pick it up. I'm glad I noticed I did not pick it up, because otherwise I would have been sad. Mana recovery occurs instantly at the end of the effect. God damn it. <laughs> Not that! Why that one? Whatever, I'll use it to combine with a different flask. I'm gonna do it that way. I'm right, gonna add my man my crit mastery or my totem mastery with crit. Hi, Clarissa. And start an encampment. Then immediately to character select to warp to the middle rather than walking all the way around. Okay, we made it to Act 3. Whew. Done pretty good. We're level 25 now. And I think that's where I'm going to end the stream for today. Oh my gosh, I'm probably going to go to bed. <laughs> Quite tired. Well, for everyone who is here and has been here, thank you. I appreciate you all, and it makes the stream for me to have all of you enjoying yourselves. So thank you. I hope you all have a great day, good luck in Shifting Stones, and I guess I will see you on Tuesday, unless I do an impromptu stream. And on Tuesday I'll be working more, probably I'll be ready to finish the campaign by then. Okay! Good luck everyone, and may... What's the name What's the name of the god? Um, may the favor of Kaduku, or Kaduka, Kudaka? Be with you? I don't know. May the, the, the stick god be with you. <laughs> Good night, all.